share to me what we can't okay, cool. about. So we're recording. So you take over, sure. Sophia. Hi. Hello, Lucia. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Finally. In English, Spanish, or Portuguese? Well, the language is you as you prefer. <laughs> Para mí está bien el español. Para mí está bien el inglés. Y, of course, the Portuguese. What do you what? think, uh, Lucia? English, no? Yeah, English. Okay. I think English is fine. Yeah. So, if, so Dr. Batista, first of all, I want to say something. Maybe better is your other. How do you hear okay? Is it okay, internet? Is internet a little slow? It's lagging a little bit. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, no, it's fine. Okay. So, uh, Dr. Batista, I just wanted to say that for a couple of years you disappeared from World Vasectomy Day, and I was very sad about that because <laughs> you are the best spirited person I know in the whole World Vasectomy Day of doctors. You are the one with the most great joy. Yes, I agree with you. I agree with you. Uh, I was absent because uh, the subjects, the discussions were very, very scientific, very uh, theoretical. And I am a man of put hands on and work. Not lots of uh, theories, uh, studies, science. I like to do vasectomies, not to discuss small details I do this, I do that. Okay, everybody has one side. My side is, let's do vasectomy. <laughs> right on. Um, Lucia, did you, you have a whole bunch of questions you wanted to ask, or we just talk? Yeah. Uh, I, well, uh, well, we are trying to explore the experience of doctors with COVID-19, as I have told you. So, we will know about your experience, your personal experience with this, how, how it has been, how it has impacted your world. Yeah, how are you doing with all of this? Did you hear? He didn't hear you, I don't think. Hey, do you hear me okay? Uh, I'm hearing you. Yeah, we were just yeah, curious I'm about what you. your experience has been with okay. COVID, how it affected your practice. Okay. Well, in my experience, I am very, very happy because I never did so many vasectomies in all my life in a sequence. In uh, March, of course, I did a little bit less than, than the average. And from April till now, it is growing unbelievably. I did at the moment, September, double, 100% more than the average. All people, they wow. talk the same story. They are at home, they are at home, working home office, wife and, and husband. They are uh, making more sex, much more sex. And the <laughs> children are not in the school. The children are climbing the walls and jumping from the ceiling and the finances are very unstable. What means? What would be of this couple if another child come over? So they all decide, let's put the risk more down. Let's uh, get less risk. Let's do vasectomy. And they are coming everywhere from everywhere to do vasectomies more than double wow incredible story do you think it's because that yeah. it's like you said people they just know they don't want to have an accident yes exactly that and they are in a very unstable unstable situation what about the future what their jobs their enterprise their investments, will they continue to flow or the situation will change? And of course, they are uh, living 
uh, they are coexisting with the situation of the kids at home, 24 hours at home. They cannot imagine one more kid around. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I was curious about uh, any, are there any special restrictions or difficulties of doing a vasectomy within the conditions that are required because of COVID? For me, it was kind of a relief, I'll explain. Previously, I said to, to my patients, come over to make your vasectomy. And they bring, they usually bring mother, husband, uh, wife, uh, neighbor, uh, friends. The, the clinic was full of persons just to accompany one single man. Now, obligedly, I have to ask them with very happiness to myself, just one companion, no more than one companion. For me, it's a relief. It's yeah. the only difference. How about the procedure itself? Do you take special precautions? Are you worried about getting control? No, no, no. Because from the point of view of uh, surgery, proceeding and infection is the same. I never change because of HIV, Ebola, or uh, COVID. All the same uh, care, all the same attention, all Thank the you. same uh, uh, proceedings. So look, uh, we, we are so, we need this year because the world is in trouble. I think we're looking at a planet in trouble. We are seeing a rise of the yeah. collapse of our institutions, including the collapse of democracy, is happening all over the world. Yes. And we need to counter all the negative with positive. And men who get vasectomies tend yes. to be positive. They're, they care about their family. They Good. care about their community. They care yes. about themselves. They're men who are concerned about the future. This is a more optimistic person. This is the energy we need on this planet. So we need Brazil for World Vasectomy Day 2020, this November the 20th, for that month it could be. It could be the whole month. We just want to waken everybody up and say, let's get busy doing it because we should provide it. And I'm just curious, from your perspective, how many Brazilian doctors can we enlist to be part of World Vasectomy Day this year, in your opinion? The whole country. Okay, okay. I, I can put the invitation to the Brazilian Urological Society. Okay. I think they would be very, very enthusiastic about this idea. And in every corner of this huge country, we would like, we, we uh, succeed in have more doctors doing vasectomies. All Brazil. I think it will, it will change the game. It will change the game. They will realize that the time for vasectomy is here. And why not join the world in this movement, in this yeah. World Vasectomy Day? I think what, what can, the what moment can we do? is what, wonderful. 